Use the bid. Forget about it. Chapter 3. Enemy of the State. Hey, Aaron. I bought some new cleats today. Yep. Phone's ringing. You get it, Joe. Oh, wait, Joe's not here. Joe's pleasure, pal. It's Vito speaking. Vito, why didn't you come home last night? I was worried sick. Mama? I didn't know you had Joe's number. And whose phone is this? So have you spoken to Mr. Papalardo? Papalardo. Yeah, he told me to have come by and to see him Mr. today. Papalardo, Aaron. He's got some work. You better have spoken okay, to Mr. Papalardo. Good luck, mio bambino. All right, bye, mama. But I will smack you with my Papalardo. Something up with the video here. One second. Make it a bit brighter. turn that on okay it's cool I guess okay what am I doing uh, we're going to see mr. Papalardo I need to find a good car. Oh god. Definitely a tree. No, let's just take that. Oh, never mind. Car breaker. Get out of the way, old fart. Stealing a car. Whoa. Wow, this car's worse. Why am I even We're getting up to 80 miles an hour. Oh my god, oh my god, are we gonna make it? No, probably not. Oh! Are you kidding me? Copy that. Copy that. I don't even believe that. I do not even believe what just happened there. Wow. Wow. That was a seri series of unfortunate failures. Oh god. Turn! Nice! Turn, yo! Okay, this guy usually has a nice car. He 
usually. Nope, some piece of crap. Nice Mexi stash there. Mole, 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 mole. Help! Out the door. It's windy. What do you want? Uh, yeah, I'm looking for a Mr. Papolato. Oh, yeah? Why? My name is Vito Scaletta. My old man used to work for him, and I'm looking for a job, so I came here. Well, you're in the right spot, sonny boy. Federico Papayato at your service. You could call me Derek. I think I remember your dad. Good guy, but drank like a fish. What's he up to these days? He's dead. Oh, well, y'all gotta go sometime. Right, Steve? Wow, thanks sure, for the... Derek. So you need a job, huh? Well, you're in luck. We just got a new shipment to unload. Steve will show you around. Now scram, my steak's getting cold. Scram! Who says scram? Nobody says scram. Uh, follow me. Derek, actually Steve is showing me what to do. What to do, yo. Mr. Papalado. That guy's name is like Fr Frederico Papalardo or something. Load this pile of crates onto that truck. Derek. When you're done, you get ten bucks. Wow, I get ten something bucks. Some gets lost or broken, you get nothing. Start now and don't take all day. Who would unload these boxes for ten bucks? No one. No one unloads these boxes for ten dollars. Not even these boat maker guys. I've already had enough of this. I'm not unloading boxes all day. Hey, you done? Yeah, I'm done. And you can keep the 10 bucks. When I said I needed a job, I didn't mean slave labor. Whatever. Get the fuck out of here, then. Don't show your face around here again. Yeah, don't worry. I can make a hundred times more working for Barbaro Incorporated. Wait. You said Barbaro? Joe Barbaro? Yeah, so what? Shit. Nobody who works with Joe would carry crates for ten bucks. What the hell are you doing? Come with me. I wouldn't carry crates for 10 bucks, and I don't work for Barbaro Incorporated. Yeah, but it's 10 bucks. What now? Well, this one don't like manual labor. What the fuck? Said he works with <laughs> Joe Barbaro. Bullshit. Who want to load crates if he works with Joe? You'll have to explain this one to me, sonny boy. What's your story? Uh, well, my mother wanted me to come talk to you about an honest job, but I need some real money, so this ain't gonna cut it. <laughs> Them women, they're all the same. Right, Steve? Sure, Derek. She doesn't want you hanging around with Steve. Joe, right? <laughs> my mother was the same way. Look what become of me. Union boss. I got the whole fucking waterfront under my thumb. So how's Joe? Pretty good, I guess. How'd you meet up with him? Oh, we go way back to the old neighborhood. I just come back from overseas and he's putting me up until I can get back on my feet. Listen, uh, you gotta understand, a person in my position's gotta be careful. Certainly. So you won't mind if I give Joe a call, right? No, go ahead. Now, where'd I put his number? Hey, here we go. 